What's going on today, internet? I am Selfish, this is Retrospect, and today we are going to take a look inside of this package I received in the mail, which includes a 750 gigabyte emulation drive running Retrobat. Let's take a look and see what it can do. Here we go, we have this 750 gigabyte Vilcorn drive. They sent it to me like this. Awesome. It was inside of a bag, but I obviously opened that because I had no idea what it was. Looks like we got some stickers, sweet. Give those to our daughter. Looks like we got some English directions on how to get the drive working. Hopefully I don't need these, but you know what? We'll keep the word paper just in case. Let's see, we got some controllers. Ooh, nice Xbox controllers. That's pretty cool. They have the right weight and everything to them. Feels kind of like the aftermarket Xbox controllers that you can get. Awesome. A Bluetooth dongle, I'm guessing for the Xbox controllers. We have some directions for the controllers that are sort of in English. At least one line is in English in this word paper. We have some more word paper here, which is uh, the original directions, not in English. Thank you guys for sending me the sheet in English. You knew me. I have a really hard time reading that Mandarin. We do have a USB type C cable. Guessing for the controllers. We do have a SATA cable and I'm guessing this is for the hard drive itself. Take a look. There she is. So this is the Velcorn 750 gigabyte, which says HDD drive, which is supposed to have some games we probably shouldn't have on it from the research that I did, but we will find out. Now with a little movie magic, we're all set up, I think. We at least have the monitor out, so we will be able to take a look here. Oh, it fell over. My Ninja Turtle fell out that was holding this up. Damn it, Leonardo, do your job. <laughs> it's Donatello. <laughs> okay, so it does say in my little directions here to hit first time for PC, so we're going to do that real quick. Maybe since my screen capture card never works, I should just start doing stuff this way. Did sync this up to the Bluetooth of my mini PC, so hopefully this will work as well as the Bluetooth dongle. But I thought we were going to be in Retrobat, but this looks an awful lot like Emulation Station to me. And there's a Botticera thing up here. All right, before we dig in too far around here for you, this is Velcorn HDD. It does say that it has Retrobat as an OS, but it looks like Botticera is on there right now. And it says Emulation Station when you're on the home. I've never used Retrobat, so it might be just a combination of everything. I'm not really sure. I don't know much about it, but I could find out about it later and then answer your questions in the comments down below. It does have 750 gigs, as I showed you on the outside. It does have 50,000 preloaded games, according to the developers here. It's 100 plus emulators. You can add additional games. I believe there's an extra 50 gigs or so available for adding games. It's multi-controller support with multi-language support. Let's go through some of the systems that are on here. We'll skip this first one because that's not supposed to be on there, I don't think. So we got open bar, got some Sega systems on here, Neo Geo's, PlayStation 1, 2, PSP 3. Oh, there's Retrobat. So Retrobat's separate on here. Cool. Um, Panasonic, 3DOs, MAME. So we got some... Lots of arcade stuff like that. Maybe we'll start there. Wow, we do have a lot of stuff on here. Xbox. I've never actually seen one of these that has Xbox work on it. Is there any games in here? Does it tell me? Oh, Taxi 3. Huh. Super Graphics. Some Nintendo stuff. Virtual Boy. NES. GameCube. Game Boy Advance. ND or N Ugh, NDS. Wii, Wii U, and that one that we can't talk about on YouTube. But we're just going to start a little bit heavier. We're going to start off with a Dreamcast game. Oh, good. There's like two games in here. Sweet. Uh, tennis. Go te I've never played this game before. Missing BIOS files. Well, that's not good. Good thing I have all of them on my computer. That's kind of a cool little console they put around there. I like that. Probably should have learned a little bit about this controller before I started playing. So we do have an M1 and M2 button on the back too, which will be nice. Guess we need to remap those later. Looks pretty good though. Graphics look good. It's uh, definitely not having any hiccups or anything here. It's holding right around 60 FPS. So can't complain about this one. That's probably more thanks to my mini PC than it is to the game, but... Hmm, wrong way. All right, let's try another one out. Let's figure out how the menus here work too. So it's just start select like most of them are. That's nice to know. Actually, let's try PS3. Let's see if it can handle PS3. Not a lot of PS3 games, not a lot of PS2 games. You know, when you get these big systems like this, they tend to put all the games in the lower end systems because you can fit, you know, 20 or 40,000 MAME games in the size of one PS4 game. Oh goodness. It needs to install all the modules. Let's play a little PS3 and I won't be able to read any of this. So hopefully I'm hitting the right button. I don't have that kind of patience. The screen's all dusty. All right, we are trying Crazy Taxi on Xbox. Once I figure out where the gas pedal is, there it is.
Sorry, this controller just vibrating out of my hand. Good old San Francisco. Okay, that works. Works just fine. Look at this. It's got a fast forward feature. I love it. I don't know why it won't let me pick anything up though. It's driving me nuts. Why can't I pick that up? Well, I would say that this works just fine on N64 on here. Plenty of processing power for this mini PC anyways. And this drive seems like it's got a pretty good copy. Some of these things are not as much fun. I can't figure out how to pick things up off the ground. That's pretty cool. And we know N64 works. Kind of curious about Wii, just to see how they set up the controllers. Press 2 to start. Okay. No idea about the 2 button. A pretty good looking game for being a few years old. Really sharpened her up. So these buttons aren't mapped for Wii, which is what I was kind of afraid of. And I don't know if there's a way that I can map them. Oh, yes, I can. Yes, yes, I can. Sweet. Are these buttons not being mapped right away? This looks and feels pretty good. I'm trying to see if there's any tearing or anything, but I see nothing. But... That would be more on the computer probably than the emulator. But you never know. Mm, little hiccup there. Oh no. There are a few little hiccups in the emulator here. Not too, not, not too bad. But. Having a hard time doing a refresh for some reason on this Wii game. I'd say this is a win for the most part. There are a couple little hiccups in there, but not too bad. Look at this. Don't even need a switch to play Mario Kart 8. Forgot it was a Wii U game. That's still out nine years, what? Nine years later on, on, but nine years on Switch? Oh, good. Now I need to set up the controllers for this. You know, if you play takes, it takes two on Steam Deck, it deletes your EA account, even though you can buy it on Steam. Ridiculous. It asks you to sync to your EA and then it thinks that you're cheating because of the software in there that does the tracking for Steam. There is quite a few. There's what 30 Switch games in here. I wonder if it's trying to get into my Yuzu account. Who knows? I have this weird thing on my screen. There's like this little box right here. It looks like the Yuzu uh, load screen corner, but it's still there. All right, we're gonna play Contra on some system. I don't know what it is. Hmm. This is way too easy to emulate in here. Got just enough for it's got a little bit of play, so he stands up. But yeah, other than that, it's not too bad. I don't know why this game is on this system that we don't talk about, because I don't remember this being on here. It must be just like an anniversary thing or something. We're about done here playing this game that we're not allowed to play. Go see... I just want to check one other thing on here, and then we will be done. I didn't want to make this video this long. Maybe updating some emulators would help. Most of these emulators told me there was updates available. I was thinking I was going to grab the emulators off my computer, but it didn't. Uh, any gaming problems are really due to that mini PC, which is pretty powerful. I do most of my testing on that, so I'm not sure but I like it. It's got a good variety of things. It doesn't have a whole lot in the upper game categories. Everything else is sitting down in these lower ones. It's much easier to put games inside of these when they're so small, so you can fit thousands of games in each of these different systems, but it is nice to see some newer stuff. 
I don't like to see Nintendo Switch or PC on any of these drives, mostly because the systems are still out there. They're not really, you're not really emulating anything that needs to be preserved at this time. To me, emulation is a lot about preservation and when you can't find things. The games that are on Switch, you can still go get on Switch. And they tend to put indie games on most of these drives, which this one's not too bad. I'm not overly disappointed with it. It's just a matter of those Switch and like PC games too. Uh, usually when there's PC games that are always available because they're pretty much archived for life. But all in, I think this is a this is awesome. This is, I mean, for the price. So these are about sub 50, depending on what you want. So with one controller, I just looked before I jumped on here, it was $45 and with two controllers, it was 55. These controllers are worth about half that when I looked up the pricing. So I, I don't know where the profit is because you still have a 750 gigabyte hard drive in there too. So they've done a really good job putting this all together. It's really clean. I didn't see any duplicates in any of the folders, which is really odd to see. This is one of the first times I've seen them without duplicates. So that's pretty neat. But yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Write some comments down in the comment section below. Are you as uncomfortable using hard drives as I am? But on a side note, when they're this well put together, it's kind of hard not to want to use it. So I'm definitely going to use it for some of my testing. I do have a two terabyte drive. I was going to do a review on like months ago and I haven't, but I've been using it for testing. So in all good faith, I should probably do a review on that coming up here soon. That one's got a lot of similar things, but more of them than this one does. Obviously a lot bigger drive. But anyways, that's all I got for you today. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And share this message with your friends because sharing helps grow the channel. And my wife says I'm more of a grower than a shower, so I could use all the help that I can get. I Thanks. Didn't say that. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Retrospect. Hey, since you're still around, do me a favor. There's a little floating icon up here so you can subscribe to the channel. So if you're not subscribed already, that would be super cool. Also, check out one of these other videos. I'm sure you can find something there that you like. Thanks for watching. I'm out.